And welcome back everybody, this is part 2, or the final part of Blazing Dude 123's world. So, basically it was pretty a short tour, and basically a short video, which is pretty nice, that everything has already been shown, and everything that has been shown. Like I said, I'm not going to judge how long the world's going to be, it's just giving my thanks to people who wanted to help me, or have helped me. So this is basically one of the other minds that he has, and so glad we have super speed running, so that... Look, so that we don't actually have to take more time to actually go down the rails and all that good stuff. So, super speed run. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I remember some part that I'm going to mess up so much that it's not even funny. So I just wanted to go here to actually examine the lava. And look at that. Lava. Whoop. Okay. Oh, is that iron down there? Okay, that's actually a nice way to actually find some resources, I guess. But this is not the spot I wanted to go. I'm just fooling around at this point. So I'm just... Look at me. I'm swimming in lava. I am cool. Alright. I just couldn't... I couldn't fly for a second. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. So where was the spot that I was looking for? I couldn't even remember where it was. I was trying to get back to the lava spot that I saw found before the video. I think this was it. Ah, yes. There it is. Uh, I'm chilling in lava. I'm burning alive, but I'm already dead. So wait, that was just that was just a contradiction. Oh yeah, a little spot to actually find more stuff. So that's all I have to do, just put go in the third person, actually move the camera a bit, and then you'll see what's under you. And that's all one layer, so it was all good. Alright, enough fooling around. Let's get out of here. Wait, where am I going? Or how do I get out? Alright. Let me see, let me see. Go down, uh, and then we go up, and yeah, here we are. So we're just going to get out of the mines. It was really nice. Um, it was just pretty nice to actually go down the mines, fool around the lava. I can't run. Dang it. Okay, there we go. Whee! Speed run. Running down the cart. Running down on the mine tracks. All right. So, ooh, look, pockets. Oh, wait, where am I going? Okay, all right, okay. All right, just, I guess there's another tunnel. Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Ah. All right. I look at upstairs, but I'm not gonna examine what's up there. So we're just gonna go back. Up, dang it. Run. And, uh, <laughs> oh, come on. I suck at running. Alright. Okay, I'm glitched. I know I'm just lagging at that point. Alright. Dang it! Alright, let me. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna get out of the mines. Just, this, this is just embarrassing. Alright, out of the mines. Okay. Alright. Okay, close the door. Alright, there we go. I look stairs. Where does this go to? Oh yeah, we're gonna actually go back up there, but I want to see what it looks like for now. Let me, oh, wait. Oh, okay, let's go. I'm gonna go up the stairs just a bit, but then I'm just gonna get off because I want to see what this looks like going up the stairs. It actually looks pretty cool going up the little spiral staircase, and then there we are. So I'm not gonna show you what's over there yet. We're not gonna show you what's over there just yet. We're gonna get there anyways. What is that? Doggies? Doggies? Wait. Oh, not, come on, I want to go see the doggies. I just want to, I just don't even know anymore. Alright, doggies. Yay, doggies. I love doggies. I love them so much. And there's one that's, well, one spazzing. But all these doggies. Oh, these wonderful doggies. Ah, they're so awesome. One, one day I want us to have an update to where we can actually name them all. And then I'm going to have to find out 19 different names for dogs. But look at all these doggies. They're awesome. And then there's that one dog that's sitting on the fence. That one's a cool dog. Just, or top dog. Whatever the phrase or whatever pun I could say. That dog is just cool. It's too cool to actually stay in the pen. Wait, you. Get back in the pen. Get back. Get back in the pen. You don't go outside. Get back. Alright. And that other dog is just stuck. He's just being cool. He does what he wants. So we got a little wheat farm. We have a sugar cane farm if you didn't notice that. And now we're just going to... Ooh, treasure chest. Ooh, look at the refrigerator. Wait, where's the bun? Ah, yes. My friend broke the bun earlier. Because he's not, he's still not used to the LTRT little use, so he kind of accidentally broke the bun. A lot of resources. All right. Ooh, ooh, awesome. So there you have it. You have a refrigerator that's that shoots out pork chops. Hip. There you go. Nice little neat feature right there. All right, what's downstairs? Ooh, a portal room with some libraries or sorry, bookcases. Oh, a secret room. Nice. All right, we're. Oh, button. Okay, that's just to open and close the door. Okay, simple enough. Oh, hey. Come on. Okay. 
Alright. Okay, I'm gonna go to the portal now. Time to go to the portal. Yup. <coughs> Excuse me. So, here's a little nether nether world area where not many people actually do much of anything in the nether world because there's not much you could actually do in the nether world. I'd like to see some creations in the nether world one day. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, who knows. But here it's just kind of neat to actually be able to fly in the nether world as well. So you actually get to look at where everything is at and what you need to find or what you could possibly build. But for something to actually be built on survival mode in the nether world would be a challenge. If it's done by creative mode, even though it wouldn't look nice, but the challenge factor is just not there anymore. That's just my little two cents. So go out one portal, you go out the next portal, and this is where we're actually picking up from when I walked up the stairs earlier. I'm going to jump down, break my legs, and here's some nice paintings in a nice little house right here. And at least this house has privacy because there's no windows. Aha! Alright, going up the little staircase right here. Just don't fall. And here's a spot where there should be... Yeah, this is basically another farm area, which you had to put glowstone so that there's no ice forming. <laughs> Who knew? And going to the top of the world he basically have a very very nice seed spawn area that the little creations go all the way up to the cloud area well I'm gonna try turn off the clouds this is what I like you can turn off the clouds but a lot of these spots are at cloud area if not just one block away from cloud area so again this was a really nice seed spawn generated in his world so that that little overhang right there I believe that is all natural right there that's why he had the little upside down, no, hanging lights. There we go. We had the hanging lights right there. So we're just going to take a fly around and we're just going to go over to the little forest area that's on the little terrain right there. So here we have it. Look at those flat trees right there, or flat leaves. This is the highest point you could actually go on survival mode. And these are the highest trees. This is why you don't see any snow on top of that tree. So it's all good right there. So we're just going to fall down and we're going to go back to the beginning because it's that time where it's going to end and there's nothing else to show. But there was one thing I was curious about back there that I wanted to go see. So apparently I'm just taking my time and walking back because this is pretty nice. I actually like this area and I like the sunset as well. I like how they actually added that in but they still got to tweak it a, a little bit. They just got to tweak it just a little bit. So there's a little spot area and... This is basically inspired by the Syndicate, Syndicate Project, I believe that's what he said, that this is where creepers and skeletons will get trapped, and basically you have the skeleton shoot at you, and make sure it pretty much you stand right in front of the creeper while the skeleton shoots at the creeper. So that's where you how you could get some music discs, so that's a really neat little, what's it called, method to actually get music discs now, because it's actually hard to get it's harder to get music discs now because all the monsters are basically stronger as well as that your supercharged bow is stronger that you can't time it just right anymore like my first little guide of how to get music discs so here are some cactus farms I guess and there's nothing else to really show this is blazing dudes 123's world and his channel is blazing dude 12345 so you go over his channel check it out and this is all there is to it <coughs> Oh, excuse me. So, again, that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoy this world. Ooh, a light spot right there. Oh yeah, that's where one of the spawns, are, one of the monster spawns are at. But we don't get to see it anyways. But either way, this is basically one. Yeah, th I'm really getting confused right now. Okay, this is Blazing Dudes One Two Three's world. Hope you enjoy this video and comment how you feel like whether or not if you want to tell him how you think about his world or if you want to tell me to actually film your world whenever I get to it again we have to take a tour and then we'll get everything set up then I'll make the video and commentate over it later on and then film it or I upload it whenever I have time to so here is his flag again representing Finland so have a nice day everybody I'm Sorokin09 and I will see you in the next video